Hey folks, Corax here. Off and on comes an item which is pretty interesting. Makes certain activities of our life much easier. Makes it a joy. This 521 burning tap from Coilmaster is one such. In this video, we'll talk about this beautiful accessory and their Vapors DIY Toolkit. So let's roll. You see for working on our atomizers, we will need a rebuilding base, right? A base to hold it and thereafter, once the coiling is done, we also need to check its resistance, right? Now for that we had two methods, one using our digital multimeter, two put it on our mod and check its resistance. Well then we also welcomed the resistance checker the atomizer resistance checker it again made our life easy but wait a sec for testing the coils we again had to remove it put it in our mod and give it a test fire dry burn it no more this coil master the 521 tab it can do just that as well now you don't have to mess up with removing and fixing and all that jing bang. Once for all, one equipment, you are good to go. Rebuilding tool, test your ohms, dry burn it. But hey, that's not enough. Once everything is done, we had to again put it back on our mods and take a web test. No more once again. The same burning tab can be used as a desktop mod as well. You don't have to use another device. Use the same thing Amazing. and vape it. How cool is that eh? One item for four functions. One rebuilding base. Two atomizer resistance checker. Three dry burn it. And four vape on it directly. I am loving it. This is not enough. There is one more function which this accessory can do. It can do your voltage drop test as well. Yes, not for regulated mods, though some of them you can do it. But it is basically needed, more needed for the mechanical mods. Now for mechanical mods, to check the voltage drop inside this box, you have this contraption. This is added into these two holes and this head sits on the switch like so. Thereafter, attach your adding, take your mechanical mod, the mod's 510 top cap sits on this and we are set. The switch goes to the resistance checker the ohms checker now you can see the ohms put it here you will know the battery's voltage it is now reading at 4 volts approximately so we know there is a battery which has got 4 volts charge and now keeping it in the resistance position if you press it you will see the atomizer firing and you can read the voltage so you will know how much is the voltage drop for this mod 3.58 around 0.4 volts drop so five solid features which this lovely vapors accessory five functions which it can do and by the way if there is a need you can also attach the alligator clips which is provided in the package and check out the resistance between two points of a length of wire 
this too. The construction of the wires is nice. It comes like this. For using you'll have to sleeve it out. And these two prongs, the banana clips, they can be put into these two holes. It doesn't matter which side which goes. They are interchangeable. And you have to mount the wire between these two alligator clips and take your reading. For example, here is a 28 gauge nichrome wire. I attach it in one of the prongs. Now here is the major issue. These prongs are not made for these wires. If you can see, there is a huge gap between the teeth. Now this is in its fully closed position. Can you see the gap here? It is not going to hold any wire. Now if you press it and leave it, <laughs> where do you think this thin wire of ours will hold? There is no way you can hold a wire length. Not possible. Absolutely not possible. You can wriggle it out and somehow make it but that is too much of time wastage. It will be time consuming effort. It is absolutely loose. So this is one feature which is not possible. Now it's a con but not a con as well because who uses this feature anymore? You build your deck, build your coil, mount it here straight away you can read it. So there is no need actually. Now everything comes neatly packaged. I got 6 items from Coilmaster and they all came by DHL. So this is the toolkit, Coilmaster burning tab and this is a weight bag, carry pouch, vaping tweezers. And by the way this is a nice rubber mat, absolutely sticks to the table. So here we go for the star of the show today, the coil master 521 tab. Instruction manual, QR code, introductions, specifications, notes tells all about the parts, what to use, where to use, we'll see it later. A coil master card, post your coil master pictures for a giveaway. The alligator clips, the extension tab on top and here is the burning tab. So first and foremost, the 510 is spring loaded, so every addy of yours will sit flush. Here is the on off switch. When you press it to 1, you can check the atomizer's resistance. And if you press it to 2, there shows the battery's voltage, the battery which is inside this. Now this back cover is magnetic. There are 4 magnets on all the corners and this can only fit one way because of these two studs there are two holes here right so these two studs have to be accommodated inside and that's how you do it so there is no way you can put it the other way the magnets are pretty strong no squeaky noise no rattling nothing it sits well the foot pads now are rubber coated so it is slip proof, sticks well to the table, uses one 18650 battery, the pull tab helps and it is clearly marked inside, 
there is positive sign here and there is negative sign here so head first this side is the charging port for the battery there is this USB charging cable a flimsy short charging cable the prong will go here micro USB charging and this goes to your computer or wall socket or wherever and you can charge your battery which is inside but again it's much easier to swap out the battery and charge it in a independent charger nice LCD screen and this blue light comes up to show when you are to fire your atomizer well, checking the resistance there is no blue light the construction otherwise is very nice it's pretty strong all plastic but pretty strong this is stainless steel the 510 pin is brass This is the lighting, LED lighting which comes up and no rattling sound, the cover sticks strong, absolutely robust. This is going to remain in your table, right? And even if there is a slight drop to your floor, nothing will happen, I'm sure, unless you really bang it. But the construction is good enough, solid enough. The button is nice, nice tactile feel to it. and a big chunky button the screen size is perfect everything is neatly visible 4.03 volts here and if you put the atomizer then it reads the ohms and there is a zero which comes up O which comes up means ohms so you are reading always two digits till two decimals so in my opinion this is one fantastic accessory a vapor should have now first thing first this is not a clone but it is highly inspired by the friday morning burning tab both of them look very similar but yes it's not a clone because the markings are not same the look is not exactly same it is not 100% carbon copy but yes does the same purpose <laughs> and around one tenth the price more about the pricings later now let me show you that DIY toolkit This is a regular resistance meter, nothing special about it. Folding scissors. Various kind of screwdrivers. Precision screwdrivers. Standard tweezers. Ceramic tweezers. long nose pliers wire cutter it's a rubberized uh, holder and here are all the coiling bits One point five mm, and they are clearly marked. And this is the coiling rod, and with the different top caps. Three mm this side, two point five mm this side of the same rod. So you got quite a choice here. 
place in one of these rods here put on the cap pass your cancel through one of these ports and then rotate it to make a coil some wire 24 gauge cancel this is muji cotton by the way So in my opinion, this is another important item, a toolkit which every vapor must have. It has got everything inside for us to work on our atomizers while on the go or while at home and very compact, very easy to carry around. And now the pricing friends. The mini vape tweezer that you saw. It is just $9. The Coil Master Burning Tap, $40. The Coil Master DIY Kit, $50. The Carrying Pouch, $10. The Coil Master Vaping Bag, they call it the K Bag, I do not know why, $26. This is one item which doesn't interest me much and the price is also on a higher side. Individually, if you don't go with the toolkit, the complete DIY kit, then you can buy this Coil Master Coiling Kit, the Coil Winding Tool. That is $30. Again, a big price. But if you are using anything higher than 28 AWG wire, this is a good stuff. Good thing to hang on to. The Muji Cotton, just $5. And they also have the smaller ohm meter and all. Oh yes, now the Coil Master Mat. For $20, this thing is actually okay. Price is right. And as I showed you, quite a useful thing to have. But again, not a must. You may forget about everything, but then these two things are pretty much important. The Coil Master 521 tab and the DIY toolkit. Must have. Now let me share with you some important points. I was in a discussion with Mike, their marketing director and Monica Huang. I asked them a couple of questions. <laughs> now first and foremost, why it is called 521 tab? Well the answer it seems is very simple. 521 is 21st of May, which is the birthday of one of their owners. So there you go. I have seen the forums. There were a lot of people asking this question, why 521? <laughs> so here is your answer friends. Well, couple of important thing, shipping. For USA, everything is shipped within. They have their own warehouse in US and it is all shipped internally. But for any other country, everything is shipped from China. And for most of the countries where it is available, they use the China Express e-packet which makes the shipping movement or transit time a little lower, it makes it faster. Especially for Canada. Six to seven days is the max time. Shipping by the way is free. It comes by China e-packet. You can opt for DHL. Now for one or two items it may not be feasible. But if you are ordering in bulk, DHL is again free. For one or two items you have to pay, which is not feasible. Now currently two of their products have a discount of five dollars one is the juice bottle not important but the diy toolkit you can use the diy code and get five dollar off same is the case with the scb the bottle the code is scb so here you have it folks under discussion was the 521 tab and the diy toolkit from coil master both products i highly recommend the stuff is good the price is right Go get it, friends. And by the way, folks, I am not associated with this company. I gain nothing from Coilmaster for doing this video. No cuts, no kickbacks involved. I just like these products, especially these two. The 521 tab and the vapor stool kit. I think these are very useful products and pretty well priced. That is the reason I would like you to know about it. That's the only intent. So for all you guys who believe in conspiracy theories, there is none here. 
this is not a commercial <laughs> thank you for watching this video friends if you liked it please do hit the like button and for all others please subscribe it helps bye Remember, vaping is a healthier alternative and we have the right to make that choice.